we go. How do I? Me too. All right. I am watching the Monster Hunter World Spring developer stream because I haven't seen it because I was at work. Yay, life. It was pretty bitching. I can't wait. <laughs> I was told you're gonna watch shit. I'm like, I'm watching it. Thanks for joining us for the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Spring Update. I'm Yozo Tsujimoto from Capcom. Last year in December, we announced Monster Hunter World Iceborne. December? Oh, yeah, with the Thurus. And Jesus. today, we yeah. can finally reveal the release date. <gasps> Monster Hunter World Iceborne will be coming to home consoles worldwide on what? September 6th, 2019. That early? We just showed you all new. What'd you think it was gonna be? Like October, like November maybe? And I thought it personally I thought it was gonna be late August. With me to provide more details. Damn, that was not expecting that early. Shit. Let's do a right. quick round of introductions. Sweet. Hello everyone. My name is Kaname Fujioka, executive director and art director on Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. Daddy, the dub voice. <laughs> I'm Yuya Tomaster on Monster Hunter World. I lead the development of World and all of its updates. Today I'm here to tell you about some of the things we still have in store for Monster Hunter World. Taking over from director Tokuda, I'm Daisuke Ichihara, director of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Today I'm here to tell you more about this new expansion. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, everyone. Everybody else is okay, thanks for okay. a bit. The <laughs> development of Monster Hunter World Iceborne ran parallel to the production of the title updates on Monster Hunter World. That took so, much took longer to join than I thought of. Yeah, it's Amber. Hi. What's up? I'm watching the. Well, I'm, well, I gotta be able to watch. I gotta watch the Monster Hunter World stream. So, without missed. further ado, let's <laughs> talk about the game. First, I'm just web swinging. We'll have another look at the latest promo video we released. Try not to Enjoy. say random shit for now because he's recording on it. I mean, you can say whatever. I'm not watching this, this again. Is, this this is not oh, your stream. Different. I'm not streaming. I'm, I'm not streaming right now. I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, he's recording something else entirely. I'm streaming out there. Stream, <laughs> streaming, I don't care. Do what, do what you want. <laughs> it's a lot of Legionas. That is a lot of Legionas, isn't it? What the? Damn, that's nice. <laughs> Whoa! Look at snowballs! Ah! It's just little snowballs. Yo, imagine coming in here wearing a fucking like wearing bone armor. <laughs> 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 You're wearing next to nothing. It's cold shit, bruh. What in the hell? Is that a giant moose? Moose! <laughs> God damn! This reminds me of Durambaros. Ah. Uh... Yeah, he kind of reminds me of Durambaros too. Oh, I thought it was freaking Santrios. Okay. Okay, so wait, wait. Yo, as long as this thing doesn't act like Nibble Snarf, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Snarf. A giant fucking moose. What? What was that move? <laughs> oh, it seems like a Levisio, uh, design, uh, skeleton with ice and has a giant fucking horn. That's sick. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed by that one. I thought it was Zamtrios for a second. Like, no way. Dude, if it was Zamtrios, I would flip my shit. Where are we going? Tracks are cropping up all over the new world. It's having an incredible effect. Is that Naga? <gasps> yeah, that's Naga. Naga. <laughs> look at him! Oh, Lord! Guess who's back? Naga! Back again. Yes! <laughs> oh, yep, he's dead in the spikes. I'd lose you guys. Is he fighting Rathalos? Oh! <laughs> She can get a sky as my ass, bitch. <laughs> Snake? What is that? Everyone thought it was just a mere myth. So is that the Iceborne Elder Dragon? Yep. So he eats Legionis? 
Valkana? That sounds badass. So new monsters. Yay. Yep. New and old. <laughs> oh yeah, watch this shit. Are you serious? Yeah, that's the only time you're gonna see that in this, so... Cats are gods now? Okay. <laughs> you may they're already were go They already were gods! They could take a Rathalos bomb to the face and not give a fuck. <laughs> it's on sale. Oh, we gotta buy it, or...? That's a free update. Yeah, we gotta buy it. Okay. Apparently it's gonna be 40 bucks. Christ! So let's go through all the new information bit by bit. Better work, 40 bucks, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there is one thing that's coming up in this that hasn't been revealed yet that may make it worth 40 bucks. And Ichihara. That being? Uh, I'm waiting for Nick to see it. First. Oh. Monster Hunter World Iceborne is a massive expansion DLC for Monster Hunter World. If you already own Monster Hunter World, you only have to purchase the expansion DLC to upgrade the main game. Damn, if you don't have it, it's like 120 bucks. If you want to play Monster Hunter World <laughs> Iceborne, you'll need to own the main game. Monster Hunter World Iceborne features a completely new story. This oh, this is the full stream. I only saw the initial trailer. The main game of Monster Hunter World. Yep. But you'll have to see for yourself what it's all about. Look at that cat walking through the snow. We've also <laughs> seen a new rank called Master Rank. AKA G rank. <laughs> yeah, they brought back G rank. Low and high ranks. And Master Rank is one step. Master G rank in the next year. Get ready to get three shot at everything. It's like the G rank from previous. Get ready to get one shot for everything? Three shot. Get hit by killing three hits. Get into the really juicy details of the game. I mean, tempers do that already. Yeah. Especially the arcs. <laughs> arcs is like two and one shot for the most part. I'll let Fujioka and Ichihara take things from here to give us the details on the game. Oh, tempered master rank is gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> That's the thing. Wait, there, there's master rank and then there's tempered of the master rank. Uh, there might be. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Look, if this this G rank hyper monster is in your whole game and generations ultimate, and they hit like a bunch of trucks, I can imagine. It's called the Horfrost Reach. The Horfrost Reach. We prepared some footage of it so you can see what it looks like in real time. The biggest characteristics of this area are obviously the snow, as well as the extreme cold. Flying snake monsters, Visually, okay. It's very different from the areas in the main Bag. game. And things such as snow effects and other visual elements of the stage. Hope you got your hat, Drakes. Yep. Why is there a fucking half? So Why is there a half hour wait period on this fucking live stream? Because they're too late to edit it out, I guess. I like how the Jesus fuck. A trail behind them. Oh, that's cool. Exactly. Little things. That's something we've never really been able to do before, so we made a point of making it look as good as we can. If you're familiar with Monster Hunter, you'll know that cold areas will make your stamina gauge decrease quicker, which is obviously not ideal. But you can gather a special plant like this. At least the shivering animation in this game makes you look a lot less like a bitch. <laughs> These drinks will stave off effects from the cold. Monster Hunter veterans will be familiar with this. Yep, yep. yep. So, let's look at the starting area for a bit. It's fairly forest-like, with lots of trees. Really? It has creatures, <laughs> like Popo. <laughs> it's like meeting an old friend again. In previous titles, they were always getting attacked by various other monsters. Oh, those guys. Okay. So you'll see yeah, hordes of them Popo. here as well. I don't remember the name. The night where I remember, honestly. Said Daniel. Popos. You may not expect to find this many kinds Popo. of Popo. But we've created Popo. unique creatures for this area. Oh, birds. Birds. For instance, there's stone birds. birds. A type of bird. And these little bugs that make snowballs, kind of like dung beetles. They're called rhyme beetles. Why did you kick the beetle? Because <laughs> he's, he's an asshole. Here. And does not the bug do his thing, right? And these rolled up snowballs contain crystal bursts. What? <laughs> and you can use <laughs> crystal burst as slinger ammo. And me trying to watch the video in Discord is actually affecting 
the call on my end, so I'm just gonna nope. If you're familiar with Monster Hunter World, oh, okay. you know that you can use them to move from area to area. So we hope players can continue to use them to make it easier to get around in these big locales. Oh, that looks nice. That looks slow as balls for me. <laughs> yeah. We figured that in a cold area like this, there's gonna be something here. To be able to warm yourself up somehow. Oh. So, uh, we added these natural hot springs. What? Mm -hmm. Hot springs have the same oh. effect as hot drinks, in that they contain components that fight off the cold, so they're, they're kind good of for preventing. It's nice and all, but there's no point in having that with your hot drinks. And in these hot springs, you're going to find monkeys. I think they'll be popular with the fans. Mm. So the skate is fun. A relaxing time. <laughs> a pandemic life. So, this new locale, the Horfrost Reach, is a newly discovered region. So, you're going to have to explore it. And, you'll open up new parts of the map as the story of Iceborn progresses. In the beginning, there'll be some areas you can't reach. But once you get to the Jesus Christ. Story, that looks sick. Up. And in the end, it'll be the largest region in Monster. It surprises me that he's a biped. Yeah. So, there'll be plenty to explore and play around with. I also thought that the moose would be would be quadruped at least. You must ass. Next up, let's take a look at the new monsters that will be appearing in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. What shall we start off with? But that actually makes me wonder if he is related to Drambrus. Monster appearing in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Let's talk about Bombaro. Bombaro. He looks so dope. <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty dope. Monster Hunter World Iceborne in the early parts of the game. That's a brute wyvern. Yeah. Looks more like a ram to me. He's an early game. Caribou, so moose. Are fairly straight I I see caribou. But he yeah. likes to pick fights with other monsters as well, which should lead to some interesting situations. We've prepared some footage of him, so as we watch him in action, I'd like to go into some more detail. Sure. As you can probably tell from the footage, his defining characteristics are the huge horns on his Why did I do that shit? Like, he's not, like, so the obvious shit. Like, we know. What else he gonna do with those? <laughs> but fuck. That's right. But he'll pick up whatever is in his pack. So, depending on where you're fighting, <laughs> he may hurl boulders at you in rocky areas. Or if you're in a foresty area, he may pick up entire trees while... Dude, imagine your face grinding across the snow like that. Ugh. I Ow. see. So if he picks up a tree, that yeah, that'd hurt like hell. His attacks, so he's going to oh my lord! <laughs> more of a threat. Yes. Dude, does every costume in the game get snow crusted? That would be insane. The reach of his attacks will differ depending on what he. I imagine so. Snow crusted fancy suits. You're going to have to pay attention to your <laughs> snow crusted gala. Yep. You know, I still shine, bitch. The ecology of this new monster. What can you tell us about its habits? Well. This monster mostly eats plants, so it's not really carnivorous or anything. And it usually lives a fairly peaceful life. Sometimes it'll drink from hot springs like the one we showed before. So it'll calmly roam around for a drink. And you can also see it do things like sunbathing. Just like with other monsters in the main game, we've gone to some trouble to create all kinds of behavior other than attacks. So we hope you keep an eye out and enjoy those details too. Let's have a look at another new monster. This one's called Beotodus. Beotodus. Beotodus is shark. the first large monster you'll get to fight in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Oh, so the Once you arrive in the Horfrost, first thing you fight. First thing you fight. You'll okay. start out in an area with fairly deep snow, and this monster the snow shark? can bury yep. deep into the snow. Mm. Hiding and waiting for a chance to corner its prey. I guess. That's the kind of That's monster cool. we wanted to have. So yeah. We really wanted to reach. We've got another two of lava motherfuckers. 
This monster will move around with half of its body buried in the snow, like the players themselves. It'll attack you while submerged in the snow. So you'll have to figure out how to get this monster out of the snow in order to really master this hunt. Hmm, that's right. As we explained just a bit ago, Bombaro also appears early on in this game. Yeah, there's pretty much the recolor so the of very similar Baroth and, so and Dredos Tier 4. Which means you'll be seeing them fight. A lot. Well, they did have to make a whole new skeleton for Narga, so it's fine. Yeah, I guess. So you'll meet these monsters soon after starting Master Rank? Right. Leototus, <laughs> for instance, is a carnivore. So the popo you saw before is one of the prey it'll go after. Nom nom nom. Of course, we've made sure to properly show predatory scenes like that in the game as well. So we hope you'll look out for things like that. And enjoy it. Next, we'd like to talk about a very popular monster Naga. series. <laughs> For Monster Hunter World Iceborne, we also wanted to bring back some fan favorites, including one that made its first appearance in Freedom Unite. So, I'd like to take a look at that monster now, Narga Kuga. <laughs> I don't know, Narga. <laughs> I'm really close to fighting him in generation, so this is really funny. It's got its own proper position within this world. It's got its own fucking place. There's no pushover, so look forward to a challenging hunt. Right. Narga Kuga's defining characteristics are its He looks so good. Highly <laughs> shrewd way of fighting. And of course, all those characteristics remain. I hope that means that we get Tigrex soon. But I haven't fought Tigress in generations yet. Have some new tricks up its Dude. For Monster Hunter World. I have good luck. Dude. For so Backtrack Trauma. Yeah, Dude. Made sure to bring back all of the moves you know One Force Trauma the monster. <laughs> since this is Monster Hunter World, we've Ouch. also given it a more world-like flavor. Jeez, it looks so, so badass. Ah. Uh, enjoy how it's yeah. changed for this time. I see. <laughs> and because Narga Kuga is now part of this new world, that means it'll be getting involved in Turf Wars as well. Exactly. That's actually one of the points in Monster Hunter World that we've put a particular oh, damn. focus on. And we've made sure there are plenty of new <laughs> turf wars here. You can actually see a little bit right there in the video. I'm not gonna this motherfucker just threw me out. Bring example. that ass here. <laughs> and That's what we all do when Rathless fucking throws our asses. It's a very in-your-face fight. So that's something we hope you look forward to. Next up, we have one final monster we're going to show you today. Oh, no, I'm showing a four. This okay. is the new flagship monster for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now, let's take a closer look. Every time we release a new game in the Monster Hunter series, we always have a new flagship monster, just for that title. And since this is an expansion for Monster Hunter World, and Monster Hunter World is all about investigating and searching out elder dragons. The main monster in Iceborne is a new type of elder dragon. This new monster is defined by its use of ice attacks and is named Velkana. Damn, that's sick. Oh my lord. And since it's an elder dragon, doesn't just use straightforward ice attacks. Her kind of looks so sick. But there's a bit of a twist to his <laughs> behavior. So now we officially have a nice elder dragon. Mysterious yep. Ancient creature. So we're sure players will find it. I guess water elder dragons can go fuck themselves. We're keeping this to a well, we would need to get the water. We do have an underwater one. Today we just. Future, so please, yeah. Stay tuned. Yep. Yes, it is. It doesn't have to be underwater. God. It doesn't have. It doesn't have to. Right. I don't know how to make one without. Well, next, Ichihara will tell they us can. about they can. the new yeah. hunter actions added for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. But also, I like Sadeus because it's a, it's a whale. It's a fucking giant whale with horn. Yeah, it, it's just a giant whale. <laughs> it's so badass. First off, oh. Monster Hunter World introduced the slinger, which for most players could only be used while your weapon is sheathed. But in Monster Hunter World Iceborne, 
You'll be able to use your slinger with your what? For all weapon types. Yeah, cause fuck sword and shield, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, kind of, that kind of does your slinger, make sword and shield kind of worthless. With your no, it's not worthless. You can right. still use other items during while it's out, but, yeah, but like, it's so quick to sheath that it's so obsolete, honestly. <laughs> I don't Which thing? I don't want to spoil everything for you, Tender so I don't know if you want to know about it. Oh. Yeah. You want to watch it? To the slinger, Next plus, huh? Well, when it comes to world, I'm really only going to care about lance and uh, charge blade. So, what the fuck? <laughs> that seems kind of ridiculous. Changes to sword and shield are. I don't think it's going to be as great as they're making out to be. I'm going off what, it, what I'm seeing right now. That's pretty ridiculous. Look at that shit. Actions. The clutch claw is basically an extension of that, in that it allows you to control monsters directly. I think that'll have a cooldown, kind of like uh, that, and it'll be you get a tire, like, make a tire first. There are yeah. Because imagine trying to do that to other dragon, what it just like launches your ass. Is called a flinch shot, which lets you unload all of your slinger ammo at once. While clinging onto the monster's head, imagine like throwing like in the direction Jesus of Christ. Yeah, you can use just unloading three bomb pods on his face. Yep, yep. Like that. Which oh, okay. I do already. Create opportunities for attack. I make dual blades more usable. Yeah. We've added new combos and yeah. new elements for the weapon types. For instance, with the great sword. You can now fire more powerful slinger shots during combos. This is called a power shot. And though it has shorter range, it's also much more powerful. Oh, it's like you skip like a... Oh, shit. More easily. So in the case of the great sword, Yo, that'd be nice, actually, when I use my shit. I use great sword. Making it I can stun him and hit him in the face with it. So I can charge faster. That's nice. Well, it charges allows you to, like, flinch them or do that. Yeah. Just by comboing the actions. As another example, using the dual blades, you can fire more powerful shots. Yo! Oh my God. And the dual blades even allow you to do other actions. I can dodge, like. Directly in its new I can dodge normally without any like a quick little side step and hit in the face for it. To clinging onto the monster's <laughs> body within the same combo. Yo, what? Oh! <laughs> features to the light bow gun as well. And there are some new custom mods too. Are they gonna make it actually like the different from the heavy one? Lets you reload ammo while evading. This custom mod is designed. What? If you perform two evading actions in a row, the second move will be a slide. Can heavy boy? Can heavy boy get that too? <laughs> while doing this sliding. <laughs> I'm trying to like I don't. Cause heavy heavy boy gun would be broken if it had that. It's already broken. Well, it's broken. It already is broken. <laughs> yeah, that's true though. Well, yeah, heavy boy gun like heavier, so I kind of can't do that. I can probably fight Lightbow Gun now. That's actually you, it's actually a reason to use it. To reload more rounds in one turn. We've only touched on a few of the weapons here, but we'll have another video on all of the other new weapon features at a later date. So please look forward to that. So today we looked a bit at the new locale, some new monsters, and some new actions. But of course we'll share more as we approach release. So Damn please it. stay tuned for more updates. Now, leading up to the worldwide release on September 6, 2019, let's have August. a look at the That's like four months. for the home console versions of Monster yep. Hunter Good Lord. Iceborne. First of all, Ooh. you already own the physical version or the digital version of Monster Hunter World, and you only want to buy the massive expansion DLC, Monster Hunter World Iceborne, you only have to buy the digital version of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. We've also prepared a pack called Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Look, like 40 bucks is enough, right? What do you want from me? It contains both the expansion <laughs> Well, apparently this is only like 10 bucks more. Gestures and layered armor. The DLC collection of stickers, gestures and It's either going to be 20 to 30 or 40 to 50. As a separate package called the Monster Hunter. I said it not get this. Kit. But if you're someone who's been waiting for Iceborne before... 30 is a weird price for DLC. I don't think I've ever seen that. We have the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Edition for you. This contains both the main game of Monster Hunter World and the Iceborne Massive Expansion DLC. That, that box art is sick. That box art is pretty sick. 
for Arcana. As a pre-order bonus, we've also prepared the fan ah. series of equipment, which will be available as a layered armor ah. set. This layered armor is only available if you pre-order the game. That's I. But if you already have it. The Steam version of Monster Hunter World was released half a year after the console version. But for the Steam version of Iceborne, <laughs> you're PC. playing a witch <laughs> PC really Master Race, I said. So stay tuned. <laughs> Pre-orders for Monster Hunter World Iceborne will start becoming available from today. Don't miss out. I guess I gotta pre-order it. And in a month or two. Or three. Now, Tokudo oh. will take over from here and share the latest information on what's coming up in Monster Hunter. Anything World. else besides Arc Temper Nergi? Thank you. There's nothing on the thing. Find out. Monster of Monster yep, Hunter well. <laughs> Good timing. This quest will be available for a limited time only starting on Saturday, May 11th. That's the Saturday. Now that we know when the main monster of Monster Hunter World is Five and I plan to play that during the night. I'll be here for that. Let's have Tokuda tell us a little bit. We're not gonna work anyway. From this monster. My, my boy Nergi. Some new swift attacks that may suddenly follow its normal patterns. Oh, great in a combo. Also given it some new movement routes and also prepared some rather unique tricks. Why can't you do it for every arc tempered monster? As a result, we Kieran's leader the same thing. He said you just hit hits harder. He's long to kill. And relive the thrill of facing off against Nergigante for the first time. As we've prepared a very challenging monster for Sam, is it all yet? Using its materials, you'll be able to craft I just really hope his stupid slam down's not gonna eat your stamina like fucking ja uh, Jaggers did. Enjoy this new content together with the second spring blossom fest. I just like non blockable attacks just irk me. <laughs> we are also pleased to announce the release of the Nergigante dynamic theme for PlayStation 4. Ooh. It's nice. I'm I looked for this earlier, I couldn't fucking find it. Chance to get a good quiet look at it. But his theme allows you to appreciate its design. The system icons are also a bit special. Oh, that's sick. They look like Nergigante tore into them. Oh, that's dope. Monster Hunter World's main theme stars at our backs as background music. So, we think this is something really special that everyone needs to check out. This theme will be available for purchase today. This is all the news we have to share from Monster Hunter World. That was it. Oh my god. <laughs> now to the many, many people out there who have played and enjoyed Monster Hunter World, our director Tokuro would like to give you a very special message. Since the release of Monster Hunter World, the number of people who played our game has greatly exceeded our expectations, and we are very grateful for that. We've brought you updates, many of them free, and some of which were made along the development on this. I'm afraid I have some shade through our way. We should do free stuff. Don't be mad at this. Uh, I just want to cost money. <laughs> has been our no, like, with what they're coming out with, like, Master Rank, I, new locale, new monsters, like, yeah, I, I get it. I don't mind paying for it. I just hope it's not 40 bucks. That'd be and we'll use our a lot, but. How we make our games. So we look forward to your continued support. I gotta fuck up. Our program, we hope you continue to enjoy Monster Hunter World. Ow. Is that it? Yes, yeah, it. Once again, the home console versions of Monster September Hunter 6th. World Good Lord. will be released worldwide on September 6th, 2019. We'll have new information for you at E3 in June, and we'll keep on bringing you updates after that as well, so stay tuned. E3 is probably going to have uh, footage of the of Elder Dragon. I imagine, yeah. I couldn't imagine what else it would be. Probably maybe a Master Rank showcase. Maybe. Hey, well, that was dope. All right.